Good morning. Morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Finca. We're in good spirits today. <laughs> We're in good spirits. The sun is shining, beautiful blue sky, less wind, still a little bit breezy, but it's a warmer wind. It's a southeasterly today, so it feels a lot warmer than yesterday. Um, yeah, so. We're in a good mood today, no more whinging. Yeah. It's forecast to be 19, I've only got one jacket on instead of three. Yep. Um, <laughs> seriously. Yes, yeah, so it's not bad for Down December, 19 one, degrees. One pair of boots today. <laughs> yeah, 19, 66 Fahrenheit, uh, not bad for the middle of December, yeah. like you say. Yeah. Um, so what are we on today? Well, you remember if you saw yesterday's video, our charge, charge controller arrived for our solar. Fantastic, that didn't take long. We had a frustrating few days, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Incredibly frustrating. Because we they said it was coming, we waited in for it, we were unable to go out, and then it didn't come. Then they said it was coming in the following morning. We waited in, thinking we could go out and do what we need to do uh, in the afternoon. It didn't come in the morning. It came at 5.15 last night, <laughs> or something like that. But we've got it now anyway. So today, I want to try and get that wired up. And um, I'm going to have a look, because what we've got at the minute is two PWM controllers um, for uh, the two existing banks that we've got. And um, PWM controllers pull in um, just above battery voltage. So if you run your batteries down overnight, they'll, um, they'll only pull in just above what your batteries have got in them slightly. Um, but an MPPT will pull the maximum voltage from the panels in. So I'm hoping, and then we're doing an experiment on this today, um, that by fitting the MPPT, it'll lift the voltage of the batteries because it'll put full panel voltage in, even though we've only currently got two panels that will be attached to it, three more to go in. Um, and we're going to look and see if it does work to lift the voltages of the PWMs. Um, and then well, hopefully we're going to make a start on this flue because um, we need to get that done as well. It's got everything just dragging on at the minute. Um, so, yeah, shall we just Let's crack, crack on? on. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be a good time to demonstrate um, the difference between the voltages because they're nearly at full charge already because it's been clear for a while. Um, but anyway, we'll see. We can always do it another morning. Um, so, I'm going to put the MPPT controller here on the wall. Remember the other day I got all the wires in ready, but I forgot to put the wires that, go, that are going to go to the battery. So I just need to crimp some terminals on the end of these two. Um, first job, and then we can open the box and see what we've got and have a look and hopefully get it on the wall. So I'll stick some terminals on these that are going to go onto my battery pods and negs. Right, so I've got my battery terminals ready on. It's going on the wall here. Oh, my God, it's heavy. Proper thing, that is. Now, my panel, pos and neg, the pos is on the right. Oh, don't drop it. Um, so what I'm going to do, because I didn't know, I'm going to move this switch over a little bit so the wires line up better, so it looks a bit neater. So I'll put this down for a minute and shift that over. Right, so I've moved my switch. Um, I've taken the cover off, and as usual, um, this has actually got a built-in fuse um, for the panels, um, so it's there if you can see it. Um, so I don't need to worry about that, I don't think. Um, I will read the instructions, <laughs> but uh, at the moment, yeah, it's looking good. Um, the next thing I want to do in this instance, you remember I just stuck this board to the wall with foam. This is fixed on with resin anchors and um, that ain't moving. But because I put this on with um, foam and that is quite heavy, I'm just going to pop um, a screw or two in into the stonework uh, as a bit of belt and braces because the last thing we want is that falling off the wall. Um, even though, I mean, the foam, you can't pull it off and it should be more than adequate. But there's no harm in being super secure, especially where electric is concerned. So I'm going to get that done first. I'm just going to drill through here, drill a, a hole, a couple of holes into the stone, stick a roll plug in, stick a couple of big screws in, and that should do the job. Okay, so I've drilled my holes, 8mm through the wood, 7mm into the thing, 7mm um, roll plugs, and big M7... Um, 
M7 screws, big screws, big fat head on them. And so we just screw them into the plug. Tap the plug right home. Same with this one. And tighten them up. Got him. Give him a bit more. Right, happy with that now. So with the help of my trusty assistant, and um, we've got one screw in it on the wall. It's staying there. I'm just going to put a level on the side of it to make sure it's level, and then. Um, get the other three screws in. Thank you, here it is. <laughs> oh. Moved already, you see. That's it. Two more and then we can get it wired up. So the first thing to do, I'm going to wire the panels up. There's no power coming <coughs> excuse me, through them because it's switched off. Um, and there's a little clamp here we just need to take off. So when the wires come in, it locks them firmly in place. Two screws in that. Put them over there, out of the way. These other connectors here are for um, a battery temperature sensor, but they don't change and I've got them on both of these anyway as well. So we're not going to even bother with that. Um, so I've got my panel neg, panel pause, battery neg, battery pause. Um, so all I need to do is just cut this to length, bear it back, pop it in the required one, same with the neg, and then we'll get the battery ones done. Right, okay, it's in, it's all wired up, I've tidied all these up in a bit. Um, the panels are connected, um, I can't show you any differences between anything because um, the batteries are fully charged. <laughs> so that one's pulling in 200 watts, that one's pulling in 300 watts and that one's pulling in 163 watts. They all decide what they want to do, but basically just ticking over um, the batteries in absorb phase. Um, so. Uh, in the morning though, I will do a, a comparison and see if we can see if this thing here has lifted these voltages because as I say, if the batteries are like 23 volts in the morning, these will only be pulling in at 23.2 volts, whereas if our panel voltage is like 38 volts, it, this should lead them and lift the voltage, so we'll be able to tell straight away. Um, so yeah, so... Sorry about that, you'll have to wait for the next video for our comparison. <laughs> well, that took hours longer than I expected. These things always do. So we're not getting much done on the flue. But what I want to do, I showed you the new pipe that I'm going to put in, which is the proper pipe. And um, It's actually bolted to the wall at the minute with a little bracket. But I welded that to the existing flue pipe. I thought it was a great idea at the time, it's for life. So what I'm going to do with this one, um, I'm gonna, when we take it down, I'm going to convert that bracket because it's just got a piece of um, rod stuff welded to it and then welded to the pipe. Um, I'm going to put a, a proper bracket on it, like an angle. I'll show you when I take it down. And I'm going to bend this uh, into a circular shape around my new pipe so the ends meet with a hole through. I'm not going to bend it now because if I bend it, I'm going to bend it out of sink. Um, but so it has a bolt through, it will bolt to my bracket and then that will slide up and down my new pipe because I don't want to start drilling an ex a new bracket hole because I've got to hang over the edge of the wall what, 30 foot in the air to do it. Um, so, this is my piece, I'm just going to bend him round 
um, my new pipe so it's a snug fit square the ends back and put all through them um, I'll show you in a minute if that doesn't make any sense at all which I'm sure it doesn't right so there it is very simple um, all I've got to do now is drill a hole through there to put a bolt through he'll go around my pipe like so even with me holding it um, so a bolt will go through there and I can slide this up and down my pipe to match up with my existing bracket on the wall very simple, very effective um, metal on metal, yeah I'm aware it can cause corrosion but I'm not bothered because it's free and um, this is a few euros so if I've got to replace it in 10 years which I probably have to anyway, I'm not that bothered um, so all these, I've got to drill my hole now and then see what's next right so there it is bolts in, um, you get the idea this little hat goes on the top here and um, yep he'll sit somewhere up there so excellent we can now get the flue done well I didn't I wanted to test the theory of the charge controllers um, but we'll have to wait till tomorrow now tomorrow morning when the batteries are uh, under charged and ready for charging um, the flue is ready to go in we're hoping to look at that today but these things always take miles longer than um, you think they will, don't they? Yeah. Whatever, the days just fly by, we don't know where they go. Um, so I think um, that's us for today already. Um, it's nearly time for dog walking, animal feeding, donkey feeding, yeah. cat feeding, <laughs> um, and all that. So, and then, and tomorrow is our day off, because it's Sunday. And it's Andy's birthday. And when you see this tomorrow, it'll actually be my birthday. So you wish me happy birthday in the comments, <laughs> please. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Um, I think we don't know what we're going to do, we're not doing anything special um, we might go into town, have a couple of drinks, maybe get something to eat we don't know yet do we? No, we don't know. I did ask him this morning what he wanted to do and he said he's no. not bothered, he just wants a quiet day so he's happy, happy life. We'll see, he might change his mind tomorrow. It's been a busy stressful week, so frustrating yeah. week, not stressful but frustrating yeah. so we're just going to chill out and see how the mood takes us really yeah. Um, we'll get we'll be on this flu definitely on Monday, which will be for Tuesday's video. Um, we, it's all prepared, 90% of it. I've just got that bracket that's on the wall to take off when I, t I but I need to take that off to take the old one down anyway. Um, so, but we need to get that done in the day so we can have a fire at night. Yes. So very important. Very important, <laughs> <laughs> especially with all our new wood. Yeah. So. Yeah, is that, is that everything? I think that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, sorry we couldn't show you the results of our super duper We will do a, 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 we'll try and do a yeah. detailed comparison though on Monday as well. We'll probably record that in the morning maybe. Yeah, I think we should do. But it'll come out on. We'll do that. Because Monday we need to get that flu. Yeah. We yeah. don't want to be messing about with. Yeah. So we'll do that, control. we'll record it and then we'll put it in <laughs> um, Monday's video that you'll see on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As I said, thank you all, as always, for watching. Um, thank you to all our subscribers, new and existing. Yes, and, welcome um, to Think Alive. Yeah, and uh, yeah, all our supporters, of course, goes without saying. And we'll see you on Tuesday, guys. Have a great weekend. Depending on where in the world you are. Yeah. <laughs>